I was flipping, I was flipping this around and saw a couple of nice sized skinks. So I'm thinking, who knows, this could be a good spot to look for, I don't know, some lizards or snakes or something. Figured it was worth a shot. So we're gonna start flipping some stuff over and see what we can find. Got a nice pile of bricks here to be. I've uh, I've actually moved this before. I've never seen anything underneath it, but I think it's worth worth a look. Let's see. <gasps> oh, there's a copperhead. Copperheads are far from the most venomous snake here in the U.S., but their bad reputation comes from the fact that, like this encounter, they have a tendency to surprise people in their yards. For one of our puppers, a bite from this animal would be certain death. I only noticed it because I was looking very closely and recognized its iconic pattern before I even saw where its head was. This Hershey's Kiss pattern is one of the easiest ways to identify a copperhead, and it gives them impeccable camouflage on the forest floor where they'll be typically hunting their prey, small amphibians and rodents. What this little guy is doing this close to the house, I have no idea. But his proximity to where our dogs usually hang out means that he absolutely needs to move. My parents are not the biggest snake fans, and any venomous snake that they find is usually killed. It's not right, but it's what they feel necessary to protect their home. I'm going to need to move this snake quickly, without him getting away, and without my parents getting wise to the operation. Alright, so what I'm about to do, I don't ever recommend you try at home. I'm gonna be coming face to face with a venomous snake. So, let's do this. All right, so I really don't have a lot of fancy snake hunting gear, so I'm gonna need to kind of finagle this catch to get him out of harm's way and get my dogs also out of harm's way. So we've got our cooler. I got backup. I'm gonna be using that dip net and a stick. And hopefully I can get him into the dip net, get him out from under there. Or you can pin him with a shovel. And into here. Him. I'm not grabbing him. He's too small. If it was a bigger one, I could grab him. But he's too small, he could easily whip around and bite me. This may be the most stressful wildlife encounter I have ever had. I'm in no way properly equipped to catch a venomous snake, and the stakes are incredibly high. One wrong move, could mean the snake gets away. And that puts my dogs, the snake, and quite possibly me in significant danger. I'm gonna completely move this brick so I have to hold on to it. Oh wow, those are eyes, dude. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Well, he can't get in there, so. Our first thought was that simply putting the net to the side where his exit might be we could chase the snake into the pool net. Ooh. This did not work, and the snake actually slithered back underneath the piece of bricks. Luckily, he was only underneath the pile of bricks and didn't actually slither away and escape. We moved a little piece again, and you can really see this guy's gorgeous patterns. It's important to note right here that we are the ones invading this snake's space. While this guy absolutely has to move, we are the ones making this situation dangerous by interacting with the snake. This snake is not at fault. We tried to scare him into the net one more time, but this, once again, did not prove to be very effective. Third time was going to have to be the charm, or we were going to be in serious trouble. This is definitely one of those moments where we really had to figure out everything as we went. While against all odds the net proved successful, getting him out of the net was our next challenge. The copperhead can absolutely bite through this material, so touching it isn't an option. Hold on. Do this, do this, do this. Perfect. Oh. Oh, oh man, I'm literally shaking and sweating. That was stressful. In here, 
we've got a snake that's gonna live to fight another day. No one got hurt. It was incredibly dangerous, but it was worth it. I've always wanted to film a copperhead for this channel, but never expected to see one this close to my house. I typically see them out on the road or while I'm doing something, and never have enough time or battery to get more than a couple passing clips. Was it worth it to face the danger of moving this copperhead? Well, having successfully gotten him into the cooler, I can say absolutely yes. But this could have gone significantly worse, and we're not out of the woods yet. This guy needs to be moved as far away from the house as possible without harming the animal. Copperheads have home ranges, so moving them too far away could prove fatal. Somewhere out along the back of our woods, near the source of the stream, should do the trick. All right, we are out here by the creek. Good 200 or 300 meters away from where we found him. Lots of rough terrain, lots of woods in between here and home. So it's unlikely that this snake's gonna come back. But this is in his general territory range, so he shouldn't, he shouldn't have too many health issues from being rehomed this far out. He really didn't wanna cooperate. I can't blame the snake though. He's got two massive heat sources right next to him that just chased him around with a pool net. This snake is absolutely terrified. I used a bamboo stick that was laying on the ground to try and chase him out and whack! Have a look at that. He bit the stick, leaving some venom behind. You really do not want that in your bloodstream. Its hemotoxic properties will rot your flesh. Even if you don't die, you'll be going to the hospital for sure and amputations aren't uncommon with copperhead bites. At last, we finally got the snake out of the cooler, and he slithered off into a nearby log. Hopefully, he'll have been freaked out enough by this encounter that he won't come near the house again. Good luck, little copperhead. Glad I got to film ya. What an encounter. It was perilous, sure, but it was a learning opportunity that I won't soon forget. Always, always be careful, even when exploring near your house. And remember that even dangerous snakes and spiders are more afraid of you than you are of them. And will be best left alone. I moved the snake because it was absolutely necessary. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll stick around for the next episode of Can I Catch It? Until then though, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.